Happy Thriving Thursday. So we were speaking about the power of habit patterns and our capacity to change them. There's a great quote by Warren Buffett. He says, the chains of habit are too light to be felt until they're too heavy to be broken. Now they can be changed, but it takes some doing. And if you think about an elephant and an ant, the elephant is your subconscious mind. The ant is your conscious mind. So for example, if you go back to your teenage years when your hormones were running you and you have a crush and you're thinking about that crush all the time, you're writing love notes, you're imagining going out on dates and you're actually having dreams about the crush and your whole body energetically is moving and shifting because of that crush. It becomes all consuming. And so then you start to do things on a subconscious level in order to get the attention of the crush. You may perform better in school because your crush is an A student, so you decide, I'm going to start working hard so they can notice me. Your crush may love sports, and so you start competing athletically and you never thought of it before. You start doing these things that are all on a subconscious level in order to get the attention. So they're things you do consciously and subconsciously. So we know from our own experiences that the subconscious mind can be programmed at a conscious level. As the elephant, the subconscious of your mind, you must make conscious choices in terms of the programming. So if your focus is fitness, for example, then consciously you begin to digest information on healthy eating, exercise regimens, your body type, your blood type, the things that are high impact workouts, the, the best time of the day for you to work out in terms of your body clock. You start doing all of these things consciously and then at a subconscious level, your body begins to respond. At a biochemical level, your body begins to respond. And you start doing things on a holistic manner that help you to get to the outcome of the fitness goal that you have. You can apply this in terms of your business, your finances, your relationship, your spiritual goals, your career and professional goals. So understanding the power that the subconscious, it never closes. It's running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no days off. So even when you're sleeping, if you have a program that's an audio that is feeding you information, maybe it's spiritual mantras or music to help you sleep better for better physical restoration. Maybe it's a program on nutrition and it's going into your subconscious so that you can remember it the next day. These are tweaks that you can make in harnessing the power of the subconscious mind and you're doing it at a conscious level by the choices of who you're listening to, the conversations that you're allowing into your energetic space, the books that you're reading, the exercise rituals that you're engaging in. Whatever the track is for you, professionally, business-wise, achieving a rank, increasing your income, these are the steps that any human being can take so it is within your realm to create change, but it's going to take some doing and you can do it. The question is, will you do it? It's not a question of can you do it? It's a question of will you do it? Willingness, ladies and gentlemen, the willingness to take the steps to program your subconscious mind with conscious choices in order to change some of your bad habits into good habits. There's a great quote. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. If you do what is hard, your life will be easy. Let's keep making it do what it do. Much love. Happy Thriving Thursday. Let's go. Boom.